Good day and welcome to Zuviate Business Agility Daily, where we help leaders reimagine how work can flow. In the last six videos, I showed you the power of the analytics module contained in Canvanize. But even those amazing analytics cannot show you all the info you would want to know, and you might also need to plot the data in different ways. Here, Canvanize has made our job a lot easier as part of the analytics upgrade in that they now allow you an out-of-the-box connection to Microsoft Power BI. Let me show you. So here we now have the dashboard of the Canvanize analytics. And those of you who have been following me with the previous few videos will probably by now be able to read all these data points. But as I said, if this is not enough and all those different tools are not enough, you do have the possibility to go even further. First of all, Canvanize has got a very basic graphing ability where we could, for example, um, have certain bar graphs or have certain pie charts. But as you can see, those are relatively limited. And we said the big thing is there is a new way to look at the data. And that is an export to Power BI. First of all, we need to determine what data we are looking for. And for that, we refine our search criteria. And here we can do lots of different settings. And we can even bring in all the custom fields if there are any, add those, and then we can also refine them even more. Once we have done that, we save this filter, give it a name, and then we put a Power BI query on. And I will not go into more detail because if you click on this learn more button, you will be taken to a Canvanize knowledge base article that really gives it all in detail. So let me now switch over to Power BI. And here is a graph that I built for a sales team. And you can clearly see that they have got three different types of opportunity sizes, which is a custom field in Canvanize, as is a rating. And we can see that we have got 361 of the small opportunities, 44 of the medium ones, and 18 of the big ones. And if we really wanted to, we could right click and directly see each of those records of every lane. What we can also do is we can obviously click out and can drill down and see things a bit closer. And we can also see which opportunities are, for example, warm and which are speculative. As you would agree, this gives us quite a lot of opportunity to build own graphs. And I have for the same team even built a dashboard and we brought in data from Canvanize as well as from the live application that they are selling. And here we have got the same slice and dice which will change the settings and all those measures will be shown in real time. If we build such a dashboard, we can now also bring that back into Canvanize as a widget. If you have got a Power BI license and can publish this dashboard, but I won't go into that detail here today. And if this is not enough and you need other data, like for example, the setup of your specific board and to see which column is an activity and which is a queue, where in the progress they are sitting, you can go a lot deeper with Canvanizer's API and I'll not go into any more detail on this one here. This now concludes my video series on Kanban Analytics and how Canvanizer has made very powerful tools available to us. I hope that I was able to give you many insights and also convey some of my excitement about this topic. The actionable tip for today is, if the built-in analytics in Canvanize are not enough for you, you can also connect Canvanize to Power BI and further expand that using the Canvanize API. And now, the sky is the limit.